Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a random review. I am Random Ross, and today I review Cutthroat Island. Ah, uh, yes, Cutthroat Island. So, this is um, a classic um, pirate adventure film, um, you know, swashbuckling, swashbuckle adventure that it says here on the wiki page. And this is directed by Rennie Harlan. Starring Gina Davis, Matthew Mo Modine, uh, Frank Lang Langil Langler or something, um, Murray um, Chakin, uh, um, Patrick Melahide, and Stan Shaw. So this is set in uh, 1668 Jamaica where Morgan Adams, Gina Davis, uh, you know, has to, after her father dies, she is given piece of a treasure map uh, and was, is told that her uncle has another piece and that there is also a third piece uh, and um, it is a treasure map taking him to, well, what is Cutthroat Island and it has a Spanish galleon or some treasure there and she is eager to find it of course there is the evil pirate uh, captain dog uh, who has one piece of the map and of course none of the crew can read the map also Morgan becomes the captain of her ship of her father's ship and yeah and they can't read them up, so then she has to find a man, someone who can read in Latin. And she does. She buys a slave called Shaw who can read in Latin, and yeah, they go hunting for the treasure map. And along the way, between Shaw and Morgan, romance forms as well. So, um, yeah, let's enough with the plot. Let's get into my likes and dislikes about this movie. So, first of all, the likes. I like this one. It's a good childhood favourite of mine. I've, I remember watching this when I was about nine or ten, and I loved it. It it was a fun film for me to watch. I loved pirate movies uh, back then. I still love pirate movies now, uh, and I recently rewatched this movie. It was good. Fr it was on Good Friday, and I had nothing else to do. I thought I'd chill out and rewatch this you know, classic film. Uh, now, when this movie came out, it was a flop. It was a, block, a blockbuster flop. And I don't know if it's gained a cult following. Does it say anything about it gaining a cult following over the years? Uh, I can't find anything on that. But, yeah, it bombed at the box office. And, you know, just was a flop. Uh, I don't get why, because I enjoyed this film as a kid and I enjoy it now. In fact, as an adult watching it, I noticed that there is a ton of stuff that you know, went over my head as a kid that I've picked up on and noticed now. And um, yeah, I, I see a lot in it. This movie's a PG, so it's like family friendly. And this was made in 95. Um, I love Gina Davis's performance in this as Morgan. She was, well, she's beautiful. And this to me was something very, very mind boggling for me as a kid. Because as a kid, I always thought pirates are men. They're all men with hooks and eye patches and ped legs. But for me, I feel, you know, for me as a kid, I feel they broke the mold with this one. And they, you know, gave me something that I'd not seen before, a lady pirate, a female pirate, so, and of course these days we have the females leading in a lot of movies, we get like sometimes female reboots of franchises that, of classic movies and franchises and that, so this I feel it was a very early film uh, to do this whole female leading pirates, and even all the pirates, her crew who were all men, 
respected her and made her the captain and loved her for it and I thought wow I never noticed how empowering for women or something I don't know this could be I mean as a kid I thought this was just a, a film where they have a lady pirate but now I look at it and think wow they actually went out and did something different here and I like that I like the I like this one I also like the supporting cast in it I love the uh, you know the character of uh, Shaw, who was played by uh, Matthew uh, Modine, and we also had uh, Frank uh, Lang Langle Langler Langler or whatever playing one of the movie's villains, Captain Dog, who was a brutal, ruthless pirate. Uh, I also uh, thought there was another character in here who was, you know. Uh, Yeah, uh, yeah. I also thought there was another villain in there uh, called Mister Go Mister. Um, is it Mister Glasspool? I did like his character. I've always disliked his character. I I don't like the man, the character in that movie. He's just boring and yeah. Um, but yeah, this has. You know, everything you could ask for in a pirate adventure movie. They have, you know, ships, they have sea battles, they have cannonballs, they have uh, treasure. Of course, they do find the treasure. I'm sure I'm not giving anything away now because this film is, uh, is 26 years old. Uh, and I also noticed this had Francis in it from Malcolm in the Middle, um, which uh, Malcolm in the Middle is like a comedy of mine that I, a favourite comedy of mine that I love and I noticed it had him in it, the, the older brother Francis. Uh, of course, um, you know, this has a good ending and doesn't leave it open for any sequels and I'm kind of glad that it's just its own standalone film, you know, and that there's no, you know, other thing to it. It's treasure and that there's no supernatural or fantasy elements in there like it is with Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, it's just like all, like, you know, you know, like a number of crew, pirate crews all out racing for the treasure and who will get it first. Uh, so yeah, I, you know, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed this film over the years and when it was on, I watched it and I'm glad I took the time to rewatch it because I'd not rewatched it properly for years. So Cutthroat Island, I'm gonna give this one. No, oh, wait. Do I have anything to dislike about it? Not really. I don't think I've got anything to dislike. It's a fun action film. It's about two hours long, and um, you know, there's some adventure. There's some, you know, adult jokes that can go over kids' heads. So I'd say it's a family-friendly film. So yeah, my ratings. I recommend it. My ratings. I'll give it. Uh, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5 for Cutthroat Island. So there you go. There is my review on this film. Uh, have you seen it? Do you, even, you know, do you even know it exists or anything? Anyway, yeah. Let me know down in the comments below what you think to this movie. Do you like it? Do you not like it? And if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up share with your friends feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell all of my social media links are linked down below in the description so be sure to check all that out i've been random ross this has been a random review so yeah if you love other content like horror or science fiction i have channels for them linked to the cards above or down below i have a facebook group i'm on twitter instagram so yeah until next time i bid you all a goodbye friends goodbye